हाई गाइस वेलकम बैक टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माई नेम इज चिराग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो वाट इज आ डेटा प्रोवाइडर एज इट इज आ टेस्ट एन जी सीरीज सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन दिस सीरीज अबाउट द टेस्ट एन जी एंड सिलीनियम वेब ड्राइवर थ्री यू कैन से दैट सिलीनियम थ्री सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज a data provider so data provider is a feature which is provided by test ng and it is required when we need number of data should be passed our test cases and you can say the number of data where we need to test our test script with different number of datas in in that time we can use data provider so by using data provider we do not need to write much code as comparison if we if we are not a write, uh, use this data provider at that time we should write some co much code comparison to when we need when we use data provider so it is a very useful feature provided by test ng so first today agenda would be what is a data provider so simply it is a way to supply data for our test method suppose there is a login script and i need to login test our login functionality or i need to run my login uh, test script with multiple of data right maybe there is 10 30 500 50 at that type of la la data so at that time we need to use data provider if we are using test ng and if we are using core java framework at that time we need to write our code to handle such scenario right and second point is what is a popular uh, why it is popular and important it is popular because you can see in current scenario or in current market we need to test or you can say that product manager wants to test their application with multiple of data so that they can cover much possibility of data in the application so that's why it is required and it is a uh, important and why it is popular it is popular because it is very easy to use and what is uh, and third point is return time of data provider so this is mo mostly if you can if you can go or you may also face uh, interview the interview definitely ask what is the return type of data provider so return type of data provider is two dimensional object array right so you should understand this and this is very important point about data provider right so this is all about the theory part and let me write the code and we will discuss how this data provider will work in this uh, with selenium right so let me open my eclipse and this is my tutorial saving so i'm going to here i need do not need to use static void man because i will use test ng right and first my scenario would be i will discuss what would i am going to test in this um, scenario where i need to search uh, multiples data in google search so i will write a test case in this test case my firefox browser will open and it will search multiple data and for every after every search it will close the browser and again it will open the browser so you can easily understand why, uh, how i write the code and how this code will work right so first i am going to create a public void method which is setup in setup we will you 
subsystem dot set properties and here we will and here we will use user dot dir drivers after that I'm going to because I'm using a selenium web driver 3 selenium 3 so I need to pass gigo driver right so maybe there I have to write driver dot it with over 30 seconds and we will call google http www.google.com right so let me just save the time and confusion so this would be my this and now this is my main test which name is search keywords and here I just driver dot find element by dot name and dot send keys and here I will give a weight so that we can see whether it it is working fine or not and just put in this try and catch right after that I am just writing one more method would be a tear down which close my driver so this is a basic test script which we had discussed in my tutorial 5 now the logic has become for the data provider so I am going to create a new method public void in this method you pass read data You here we have to put the object and double dimensional array because we are using data provider so friend the method which you have to use as a data provider you should give the annotation as a data provider here as I had given now just give me a 
moment i will complete this method and in this method i need to pass so here i need to pass a i need to pass two test keyword by three different keywords right so what would be are this three and zero so basic basically you can see that three means this uh, data provider will run in three times because this comes for row and this comes from columns and zero means i am passing one word or one keyword so just let me write down this way if i say set zero and zero and here i am going to first set selenium so first it will set selenium after that i am going to one and give zero at this condition it will search apm and last is about two and zero in this it will search free automation learning and we will see what would be the result comes so how it works as you can see this first index means i have to pass three data and it means what i have to pass i have to pass one keyword if i put here one so i need to pass two keywords how how it works i will show you soon right and after that i will return my data so this all about the data provider code right and in this method where is my main method i have to call my data provider in this method and give the name of data provider my data provider method name is read data right and here i have to pass a string search keyword right and have to pass here a search keyword so friend if i have to pass here one so here i have to give a string two because as you know that array start from the index 0 right so here i passed 0 so here i have given one string here if i pass one here then i need to pass two string suppose i have to check username and password at that condition i have to this three means number of data so we have three number of data and it means number of parameter so we have a two parameters login a username and password at that time we have to pass this but in my case i have to pass only one because i am just going to search the keyword right so after that just let me call as a before method and after this i am calling as a after method and we will run and we will see what will be the result after that we will discuss this method right so i am going to run this and you can see the one method has been invoked okay and it give the array of fair Now I'm going to 
können wir dann da gehen. And you can see the Firefox has been launched. Maybe there is some internet issue with my system. That's why it will go fail. Let me switch. Okay, you got it. That I here I have passed four doubles, so there would be a three. Now I will run this again, and we will see the output. So this is a silly mistake which I did it here. I passed four times double, and now you can see the Firefox is launching again. and here it will pass google and you can see first parameter is pass selenium right and again it will search and at this time it will search for the apm and at last it will search for free automation learning so this is for about the data provider so you can see that by using a simple code we can just provide the data to our test script it is very simple and it is very useful and mostly all the company which are using test ng will use data provider when they need to pass data from outside the excel so you can see that three result three times this result work and this is the data which we have searched this for selenium apm and free automation learning right so now i'm going to talk about the code so you can see that this would be the my object first the method which we need to treat as a data provider we should give a data provider for that the return type of data provider is to do dimensional object array here we declare the object array we can also fetch data from excel or maybe a database where any thing else we need to fetch and just we need to call as a data provider and here i just pass the hard coded data here one means this is for the zero index and this is all about the code and where i need to get this code i just uh, pass this code by using data provider as a read data and by this passing this we can just pass our data to a test script so this is all the basic about a data provider in coming video i just show how we can run this data provider in live scenario we will fetch data from excel and we just fill up a form with a different test data and we will test that so hopefully you understand the basic concept of data provider and if you like this video please press like button and thank you for watching this video bye bye